Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a sinking funds video. This has been highly, highly requested for 2017 and I wanna be 100% honest and let you guys know that this is not something that I am gonna be using in 2017 just yet. As many of you know that watch my videos, I am currently staying at my parents' summer home in Minneapolis. They are allowing me to stay here so I can save up for a house. I am well on that journey and I'm starting look to look for homes right now. So I am making this because you guys wanted to see it. Um, there will probably come a time during this year that I will utilize this, um, just not right now because I have a lot of excess uh, funds that are going into my savings that I can pretty much bankroll any sinking fund that is coming up within a certain month, if that makes sense. So. Anyway, that being said, I just wanted to be 100% honest on the get-go and let you guys know that this is just kind of a mock sinking funds for me personally, but I know a lot of you wanted to see it because you wanted to draw some inspiration from it. Um, this is my budget book for this year. This is the 2017 monthly deluxe planner from Erin Condren. And um, just to let you guys know, these little tabbies did not come with the book. I actually put those on. I will link my walkthrough of my budget 2017 playlist like down below so you can see it if you want to. I just got them at Michael's. So anyway, that's like my most commonly asked question. And my battery's dying, but let's try to get as much as we can done and then I'll be back after it dies. So anyway, I've been doing a lot of filming today, you guys. So anyway, um, this is an Erin Condren sticker book. I am not sure if they still have this sticker book or not. Um, in 2017, I'm trying to just use up what I have, but I will be leaving links below to the Erin Condren website. I know at the store, like not the Erin Condren store, but like, um, what is it? Staples, I believe. They have this book still at my local Staples. I was actually there not too long ago. And um, yeah, they had it. So, I mean, maybe they just don't have it at erincondren.com anymore. I don't really, I don't know. So yeah, but I'm just, I'm just judging it up a little bit. Cause you know, I gotta, I gotta make it look pretty you guys, because you know, even if I'm not actually using this for myself, I want it, I want it to still be pretty. So that looks cute. All right, and I'm gonna use this little orange one and I'm just gonna write sinking funds. And maybe I should define what a sinking fund is. Um, when I started budgeting pretty hardcore a couple of years back, I was like, what's a sinking fund? Um, to me, everyone has a different version of sinking funds. Wow, this is like not coming off. Um, oh, here we go. So to me, a sinking fund is anything you need to plan for. So that being said, anything that revolves around something that would be an upcoming expense that maybe you don't have every single month. So like for me personally, I wouldn't put like groceries on my sinking fund list because that is something that will probably be happening every single month, you know? However, what I did this year with my little setup and I walked through this in my, like how I set this book up anyways, which will be on that playlist, is on the actual monthly spread page, I put down here on like a little, little post-it note, what I have coming up that I will need a sinking fund for. So I'm gonna use these and transfer them over here and just make some columns and just see how it works out. I think I'm just gonna list them all and then if I have more, I can always you know add more later if need be. So, um, so I have a February planner event and then I also have January puppy sitter. All right, so that's all I have for January. Let's go into February. I don't have anything as of right now. March, I've got my nephew's birthday and I will allocate some more funds that month for that. April, I don't have anything. May, I don't have anything. June, I've got my dog's uh, vet visit. July, I don't have anything. August, I've got my car tabs. Also, the state fair, which most people wouldn't allocate more funds to, but I am going to because it's amazing. Um, September, I've got nothing as of right now. November, um, I'm just gonna put in my December Florida flight. I normally purchase it in November. Um, and then also holiday gifts. I hope this doesn't look too different, but my battery finally just totally pooped out on me. So that being said, we ended at, well, we didn't even get to December, but in December, I will also have a Doyle puppy sitter. So I'm just gonna put that in for December. I guess I didn't have to write Doyle puppy sitter, but whatever. I could just write 
pupper, pupper sitter. There we go. All right. So these are the things that I always just kind of have coming up. Also other things that I want to put in my sinking funds that I just haven't yet are my, let's see, I carry uh, AAA insurance. What that is, is it's actually like my, it's not auto insurance, but like if I get stuck in a ditch somewhere or I need a jump or something, I pay around, I think it's like $90 a year. And then I have this like extra insurance, which is nice because that, pretty much covers like one toe if I have to get towed. Haven't had to use it in a long time, but I actually have had to use it in the past and it really sucked. But anyway, uh, AAA insurance. I also have my life insurance I pay annually. I'm also gonna put a line for birthday gifts. Um, just kind of like a general, you know, general fund of that. Also, um, my dog's medication. My dog has seizures, so he once a quarter has to get um, medicine and I know how much it is and all of that stuff, so we're good to go there. I can't really think of anything else right now. I mean, I'm sure I'll, I'll, think, of, I'll think of something, you know? Um, but anyway, so here's my February planner event. What I'm going to do is I think I'm gonna use this little thingamajig again and let's use this blue one. Why not? Why not? Let's make a little line here. And you guys don't need to make it all pretty. I'm just making it pretty because that's what I do. It's what I do, y'all. Let's see, what other what other one do I want to use? We use this one too. So I'm gonna use this column for the approximate, and I'm gonna use the next column for obviously like I would put that in once uh, I pay that. So then for the next year, what would happen is that I would have a more accurate detail about how much things are gonna be, if that you know makes sense. Those look really wonky to me. Whatever, we're gonna go with it. Okay, so the February planner event, I'm not sure how much that's gonna be. I'm just gonna guesstimate around the $50 mark. So yeah, my January puppy sitter. Let's see here, that is gonna be, I know that's gonna be exactly $80. Jackson's birthday, I'm not sure. I'm gonna allocate like $60 for his gift. Uh, the Doyle vet visit, let's just say a good round $200. Um, he's a little bit older, he'll be turning 10 in a couple of weeks, so yeah. As for car tabs, I have no idea. I need to change my registration and everything too, so that's gonna be a little more expensive. I'm just gonna go like 350 as an approximate. I have no idea. As for the state fair, I wanna allocate myself about $100. Um, if I end up using less, that's fine. Uh, let's see, December Florida flight. I know I just paid around like 400, so let's do like 450 just to be safe. Holiday gifts, I don't really give too many gifts. It's usually to kids that I give gifts. So um, I'm just gonna say like 200 bucks. Uh, December Doyle puppy sitter, I'm gonna do like 220. I don't know how long I'm gonna leave for, kind of dependent on that. As for my AAA insurance, that is usually, oh, what did I say? It was around like $90 typically. My life insurance every year is around the same. It's about $120 a year. Um, miscellaneous birthday gifts, those, oh, let's see. And just like regular, like just kind of gifting, if you will. Let's do like $300 there. And then my Doyle medication, those are, that runs about 280 a year if the prescriptions don't change. So then now what I do is I will take my calculator and then I will make like a total at the bottom of expected and then I will divide that by 12 months. So. So as for all my sinking funds right now, it's an additional $2,500. So I'm gonna put that at the bottom here of my kind of total expected, so $2,500. Also, this is a great way if you are planning on purchasing another vehicle. Oh, I didn't even put that in, like vehicle maintenance and things like that. Um, since this is kind of a mock one, I'm not gonna like, unprettyfy my stuff, but you could put in like like new vehicle fund, like new car fund, 
Um, you could also put in like car repair, you know, uh, tuition, anything that, you know, you think is gonna be happening that you're gonna need. Also, you know, uh, upcoming trip or anything like that. Um, and then how many months you have to save for that. Say it's just a $2,500 just to make it neat and clean because I already wrote it down. Um, and then we divide, whoops, <laughs> so $2,500. And then we divide that by 12 months. So we need to put an additional $208.33 away every three months. Or not every three months, every single month throughout the year. So, and then we divide that by 12 and that equals $208.33. So theoretically, if I put all of that away, then all of these expenses will essentially be paying for themselves. There are times in sinking fund budgets where there's a lot of excess in your sinking funds because a lot of these are coming up at the very tail end of the year, but there's also some times where a lot of it comes up at the very beginning of the year. So for me, what I would wanna do if I was using a sinking funds budget is to allocate enough padding to be in there um, or use some of my not emergency savings but excess savings to put into that fund and then replace it throughout the year um, with that you know 208 33 every single month until it's all replenished and stocked back into the account that you took it from and then over on this column I would just write the actual once I actually know what the actual is like my January puppy sitter that's definitely gonna be $80 so that I already know. Um, and then everything else is kind of an estimate as of right now. Um, my Doyle puppy sitter in December is probably gonna be around that 220 mark again, but I'm not really sure. It depends on how many days I leave for. So that is it. That is a look into my mock sinking funds for 2017. I hope you guys enjoyed and got something out of this. Sorry, this isn't exactly what I'm gonna be using this year just because I'm in a really weird financial situation. I can tell you for sure 2018, I'm gonna be using sinking funds like it's going out of style because my situation is gonna dramatically dramatically change and so I'm gonna have to be really really diligent about my finances not that I'm already not diligent I'm just saving a very large excess right now because I am saving for a house so anyway I'm gonna let you guys go thank you so much for hanging out with me for a little part of your day if you have any questions feel free to post them below and I will get back to you also the link to the Erin Condren website will be below for you guys that's where I got this book as well as this sticker book uh, like I said I don't know if they have this sticker book anymore but they do have several other sticker books that are available that are wonderful um, if you sign up using the link that I provide you get a $10 off coupon code emailed to you if and when you decide to use that unique coupon code that they email to you it'll give you $10 off as well as when your item ships I'll get a $10 off coupon code as well which is kind of awesome so thank you guys so much for everyone that's actually used it I really really appreciate it so anyway I hope you guys are having a wonderful day no matter where you are and I will see you all in the next video Bye guys!